In this video, I'm going to show you how to include a full width featured image in your blog post template, just like this. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to download this free blog post template. I've included the link in the video description below. Now, once you get here, you scroll down, click on get it for free today download the files and they'll be downloaded onto your computer. Next, you want to come over here to your website and make sure you have Divi installed. So click here on theme builder. Next, I'm going to go to my folder where I downloaded the file. So I'm going to come over here and unzip this folder. It's very important that we unzip this because if we don't, this won't work. So I'm going to double click on that. And now we have this file. I'm just going to drag this over to the side and then click on portability. So this is how we're going to install this template. Next, I'm going to click on import and then I'm going to bring down my file, drag and drop it over here. And then I'm going to click on import theme builder templates. The other way to do this is to click over here and then you can navigate manually, but I prefer dragging and dropping it over there. So now I'm going to click on import theme builder templates. Great. So everything has been imported now and you can see here, this is going to be applied to all my blog posts. The next stage now is to come over here and start customizing this. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. So let's explore and see how this template works. So over here, if we go into our section settings, we notice that we have a couple of settings. So if I come over here to our background, you notice that we have a gradient here, which is starting off from white and then going on to transparent. And you can see the colors over here on the bottom. So next now in this tab, this is where we add our dynamic image. So our dynamic image will just pull from our blog post. So whatever image is on our blog post is the image that's going to show up here. So this is how it's uh, the image is here. Now, if you wanted to add a dynamic image, this is how you do it. I'm just going to delete this and then I'm going to click here on this little icon and this now can be added as a featured image. So this is going to be a dynamic image as I explained before. So back over here on our gradient, our first color here is white and over here is transparent. So all you need to do is to drag this transparency slider all the way down to the bottom to show transparency. Next, we also need to go to our gradient type. So for this to work, it needs to be at 90 degrees. So this is how we have this uh, part, which is white and then transparent over here to the left. Next, we also need to adjust our start and end position. So our start position here is at 35% and our end position is at 90%. Now, this here is very important. You need to make sure that you need to place the gradient above the background image. And once you set it to yes, pretty much you're all good to go. So with that said, I'm going to hit save. Now I can go in here and take a look and see how this was constructed. So ideally, we want that our blog post will show our blog post title. So to include that, you just come over here. Now, this is a normal text module. So what we have done to this text module is we have added our dynamic content. So let me delete this and show you how this was added. So if I delete here and then click back on this dynamic icon, I can choose post archive or title. So this will pull the post title automatically because this is dynamic. So let's say you want to set this up as a heading one. So you can just add your tags like that add your closing tag. And now you can see it's now showing as heading one. If you want to further customize this, you can go over here to design heading text. And now you can set this to whatever font you want. In this case, we have pop-ins and uh, also on the colors here, you can change this to whatever color you want by selecting the color over here. So you can see now it's all black. So on the top here, we also have categories. Now let me show you how this was created. So if I click here on this module setting, this also is a text module. And you can see this by taking a look here at the top. And again, we have chosen our dynamic text. So I've just removed it. Let me show you how you add it back on. So if you click here on our dynamic icon, we can now go to our post categories. So just by adding that, pretty much we are good to go and our template is now ready. I'm going to hit save. So that is the first example. All right, so let's take a look at our blog post. So here you can see that this white part is where we had the white color and this is where we had the transparency. All right, so let's take a look at uh, how we can recreate this using a different method. So I'm going to start off by deleting our text module and then our row. Next, I'm going to click here on this plus button to add a new row. So this is going to be our full width. So I'm going to click here on full width, but this time we're going to choose a full width post type. So I'm going to scroll down here and select full width post title. Now let's take a look at the elements. So I'm going to click here on elements. So we want to make sure show title is there. And this is the title, by the way, show meta. This is also good. 
Now, we don't really need to show the author, so I'm going to disable that. I'm also going to disable the date, but of course, if you want to keep it, that's fine. Next, we want to leave our post categories here. This is important. I'm going to uh, disable the comments count, and I'm also going to leave the featured image, but I'm going to do something very interesting here. I'm going to click here on a featured image uh, placement, and I'm going to choose this last option. Now, let's go to the design tab. So I'm going to click here. And we're going to start here with our title. So I'm going to click here on this pen brush tool and I'm going to start by adding my font. So our font here is going to be Poppins. Set this to semi bold. Now for my color, I need to use a specific color. So I'm going to come over here to the eyedropper tool and add my color. Next, I'm going to set my size to 72. And for my line height, I'm going to set this to 1.3 EM. So this just makes it easier to read on your page. Right, so let's move on and let's take a look here at our text size on our mobile and also on our smartphones. So it's, it's a very good idea that you go in and set these uh, right away. So I'm going to come over here on this little icon, go to my tablet. So for my tablet, uh, it's going to be better at about 40. So let's go ahead and enter 40 here. Next, let's go to our mobile. And for our mobile, we're going to set this to 34. And that's looking much better. For our line height, I'm going to set this to 1.2 EM. So I'm going to switch back over here to the desktop so I can see everything. Now, we also have this category. So the quickest way to access this is to click on the Prem Brush icon. And now we have all our settings. So like, like before, we're going to set our font. So I'm going to set this to Poppins. I'm going to select it, add my color. I'm going to paste it in here. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using, I'll leave a link to the post in the video description below. Okay, so moving on, we need to add our text size. So I'm going to set this to 20. And we also need to uh, align this centered. So I'm going to come over here and align this to the center. Now let's add a margin to the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my spacing and I'm going to set my margin to the bottom of 10 pixels. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want a bit of space between my categories and the next content that comes below it. Now, while we're here, I also need to add a padding to the right of 300 pixels. So all looks good. The next step now is to add our gradient. So I'm going to now save changes. So to add our gradient, we need to go over here to our section settings. So first, let's go on to our design here, spacing, and we need to make sure our padding bottom is set to zero. And now let's go back to our content, click on background. And now we need to go to the second tab, which is where our gradient is. So now we need to click on this plus button. So our first color here is going to be white. So you can either enter it manually or you can just add the hexadecimal value, which is six Fs. Our second color is going to be transparent. So normally what I do is I set it to black and then I just drag the slider all the way down to zero. But if you want to go in and manually do it so you can get a perfect gradient, uh, you can just go in and just add all zeros in here. That's the equivalent of our full transparency. All right, so now that we have this, the second part here is to make sure that this is set at 90 degrees. And our start position here is going to be at 35%, end position 90%. And we also need to, to add the gradient above the image. Make sure this is set to yes. Finally, we need to add our dynamic image. So I'm gonna click here on the third tab, click on this little icon, set featured image, and pretty much we are good to go. All right, let's move on to the next example. So with this, we're going to click here on this plus button to add a new row. And this row is going to be a full width row. Next, we're going to add our image module. So I'm going to search for it and add it. Next, we're going to come over here to our default image, delete that and add a dynamic featured image. Now let's head over to the design tab, click on sizing. And here we need to force full width. I'm going to select that. So now our image is going to go width to width. Next, we're going to come over here to sizing and uh, make sure that our width here is set to 100%. All right, so we're done here. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to come over now to my row settings. But I'm going to drag this over to the top. So I'm going to click here on my row settings. Go to my design tab, sizing. Now, by default, this is set to 80%. We want this to be 100%. And we also want our maximum width to be 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now our row is edge to edge. Next, let's head over now to our spacing. So over here on our spacing, we need to set our margin to minus 84. And then save. Now let's head over to our section settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. We're going to come over here to our background. And on our image here, we're going to delete that. 
Next, we're going to remove the gradient as well. So I'm just going to delete it. We're going to come over here to our background color and set this to white. And then we're going to close this. Now we need to add another regular row. So I'm going to come over here, click on plus, And this one here is going to be a single column, just like how we did before. Now let's go into our row settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my row settings. And we're going to set a few things here. So the first thing we need to do is to set our width and our maximum width to 100%. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab. Click here on sizing. Set this to 100 and maximum width to 100 and save. Now let's add a text module by clicking on this plus button and we are going to search for it and select it okay great so we can see here we have our text module so first we're going to delete all the text and then we're going to come over here now to the background so this is where we're going to add our image by clicking here on this third tab and let's click here on this little dynamic icon and set our featured image next let's head over here to our gradient click on this plus button and we're going to add our gradients just like before. Our first color here is going to be white. So I'm going to select it by clicking here on white. And then over here, this needs to be transparent. So I'm going to drag this all the way down to the bottom. And then I can also manually go in here and just add zeros to get our full transparency. Okay, great. So now that I have my transparency, I have my gradient. The next step now is to come over here and set our gradient direction, which needs to be at 90 degrees. Our start position here needs to be at 35 and our end position at 90. And make sure place gradient above image is set to yes. So we need to click here on design and then we're going to head over to spacing. So here we're going to set padding of 200 to the top and 200 to the bottom. So I'm just going to activate this chain so that it just adds the same value both to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to save this. The next step now is to open up the section settings of the newsletter opt-in. All right, so the next step now is to go to the section settings where this email opt-in is. So this is the one. I'm going to double click on that. And this now is going to take me into my section settings. So I'm going to come all the way down here to position. And I'm going to set my Z index here to 10. And then we need to save. Now we need to go into the blog post uh, content here. So we need to reduce the space between our content and our main header area. So I'm going to double click here to go into my settings. And all we need to do here is to set the margins. So I'm going to click here on design facing. And we're going to set our margins here to minus 160. So we're going to save here. So now that everything is all set, let's go ahead and save all our changes and see the final result. So over here in our theme builder, we need to, all we need to do is to save all changes. Now over here on the post, you need to make sure you add your featured image. So let me just go back and show you where you add your featured image. So this is my basic hello world. So I'm going to click here on edit. Now we already have our template, so we don't need to design our blog post in Divi. So all you need to do is to enter all your text in here. Now over here on the right, making sure you've selected post, you need to come all the way down to featured image and add your image. So now if I come over here and refresh this page, this is our final result. So this is the part which is white. This is the part which is transparent, showing the image in the background. So there you have it. That is how you add your full width image to your blog post template. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.